right so far guys you have seen the deployment we we are doing in in the jenkins box right what i have done is at this moment i am doing all the build in my jenkins box but sometime aapke paas aisa issue aa sakta hai ki you know you don't have to do build in the jenkins box instead jis bhi environment mein aapko build karni hai deployment karni hai wahi par aapki build chale aur wahi par deploy ho jaye right how we going to do this right for doing this we have a master and slave concept for this right in master or slave means this jenkins instance is a master instance right where hamari all our build are running but maine kaha ki kabhi kabhi aapke paas aise situation aa sakti hai where you have to directly run your build in your uh, dev environment and any of the environment you wants to do the deployment to make the less overhead in the jenkins box itself तो इससे क्या होगा जेंकिन सर्वर का ओवरलेट ओवरहेड कम हो जाएगा और डायरेक्टली विल वुड हैपन बिल्ड एंड डिप्लॉयमेंट विल हैपन इन दैट स्पेसिफिक इन्वायरमेंट एंड मशीन ऑन राइट फॉर दैट वी नीड टू क्रिएट जेंकिन स्लेव सो जस्ट गो टू मैनेज जेंकिन्स यू विल सी मैनेज नोट्स एंड क्लाउड एट दिस मोमेंट यू सी we have one master node only right and what you need is you need a remote node right make sure to create remote node you have couple of things so let's go and click on add one node here so that you would come to know what all things you need let's say i will call it dev1 right you can create the nodes as per your environments dev1 dev2 prod you know test dev etc so first it says what is the name we said this is a dev1 you can give the description here number of executor means how many build you can you want to run concurrently at this moment we say we want to run one executor only and what is a remote directory let's say i would call it opt right what label you wants to give if you want to give any label to it let's say slave node i have given this label to here and how you want to use this you can say use this node as much as possible only build job with label expression matching this node or you you wants to give this label uh, to run this you know node i would say use this node as much as possible at this moment right next it says launch ssh agent via ssh right and give your host name and your credentials here okay then what i need to do for this so the first host name is this i will do if config and will paste here then next is credential let's say what is a credential go to add click on jenkins right give the username here let's say my username is root and password is this scroll it down and we'll click on add right and just select that root right the next is known host file verification strategy that's fine or i would say no verifying strategy let it be you just need to click on advance and if you wants to tell you know your java path you can tell your java path let's say my java path is cd slash opt jd jdk 1. point this cd bin ls i uh, ls hyphen l then java right if you want to give this path go ahead and give it here that's fine and you just go ahead and say, before you save it make sure you have done couple of things right you have etc ssh ssh underscore config you have enable that user just go to password authentication right my password authentication is yes if you want to do this key based even you can do that but first start with the password authentication yes and i have i will i have also done the 
permit root login here right permit root login to yes and reload your sssd ones systemctl reload ssd so that you do not re disconnect from the console right the next you need to do it just go here and click on save right most of the time you will see error java is not working something click here and see the logs right click on launch agent and it would be connecting now if there is some issues then you'll get some error it says ssh host keys are not verified fail to authenticate as a root a wrong password okay uh, there is a password issue so changing the password or removing it you can just need to go to credential you can see here the user right so you can directly click here update it or you can click there and you know do the things so click on change password let's go ahead and do and let's save it right the password has not been recorded as used anywhere okay i think what i will do is i will change the root password then because that was in the because this password is already being used i have used the same password but you can uh, you can change it otherwise what i had to do is i just have to remove it from that you know uh, that slave node even which is here itself so let's go ahead again click on launch so you can see successful connected and online right we have not seen any issues now and let's navigate to that box and go to opt and you will see one folder jenkins would have created here remoting right this remoting dot jar has been automatically extracted here by jenkins right where you will see logs and jar now what is the benefit of using the slave now <coughs> right instead of doing build in that local machine now we are going to do this build in this machine only so if you go to node and you will see this node is active now so let's go to jenkins and let me create new job or i will edit the same job that's fine you can you can create the multiple job whenever you are doing it don't edit single job only right just come down here you can see restrict where this project can be run and so just give you a node name here that will automatically pop up here just click on this and just apply and save rest thing will remain same right now instead of this job will run in this machine this job would directly run in the this client node so let's do the build now so you see started by chandrasekhar sharma running as a system and building remote on deb1 instead of running in the master node this run and slave node this was like uh, the job it was crashed job was not successful because you know git was not available in that system in that client system so let's go ahead and install it so what i have done now for a testing i, ju I just have I i'm just showing you how to do the build in the slave node right so this is the simple one where, where i have seen where I have, where I have done restrict where this project can be run right and this is my url and i'm just doing the build nothing else so apply and save let's go ahead and do the build now so now you can see the build has been started on this node right and this is the workspace which has been created let's go there and see if this is was created you can see new workspace has been created tool directory has been created you know first job directory has been created so 
This way every build would happen here only. Right? And you don't have to like deploy it from the remote machine. If you see here you are getting one issue here, right? One error. No Java here. Right? My my remote machine this is this happens sometime in your production also. I have faced this issue so many times. This is not getting Java. And you see you have a Java. Right? But what happens guys is sometime you know whenever any remote tool is executing something it is trying to find the Java here. Bin Java because it is running from the user. So in that case what guys you have to do is you just have to make the soft link of your JDK. ln hyphen s anyone can tell me what is the java bin java just validate if the soft link has been created perfect the soft link is there now if you run your build that should come up without issue do you see the job has been successfully completed and now let's validate your artifact cd slash opt workspace inside the workspace first job and you can see that's awesome the artifact is here. 